and Frank Ifield, Julie Andrews, and now Doreen Kutzka. Yodlety. How does a yodeler do it? Now, doing something funny for money is gaining momentum as we head towards Comic Relief's Red Nose Day on the 15th of March. And today, at a theatre in North London, the comedian Mark Watson is doing a 25-hour stand-up gig to mark 25 years of Comic Relief. And Jane Garvey is with him. Jane? Jane? Good morning, Jenny. And I actually think the Women's Hour running order might just have given Mark a little bit of inspiration for the next six or seven hours. What, what do you think, Mark? I would simply say that when you've been on stage for 11 hours, you're not expecting a yodeler. No. <laughs> uh, now, Mark, you better just try and... I mean, can we have, a, first of all, a Women's Hour appropriate whoop, please, from the audience? How many of these poor souls have been here with you the whole time, Mark? I can honestly say that practically all of these, about 130 people, have been with me here for the whole 11 hours. And have they enjoyed your performance? That is a different question. Luckily, yes. I think they have. Well, they they sort of have to do that, but even accounting for some favouritism, I think they're kind of getting into it. Yeah, we had a couple of dark hours. We're through those now. Go on. What what was the worst, absolute worst point? It was as I expected, really. Six and seven hours, uh, sort of five or six o'clock in the morning are difficult because you can't really contact people in the outside world because they're childishly sleeping. Um, And uh, also a general sluggishness, stroke despair does descend a little bit when people realise although they're very tired they've still got 18 hours to go yeah. whereas now we're nearly at halfway and exciting things have been happening have you got any appropriate bits of comedy stuff for our or not putting pressure on you because obviously it's an important programme Women's Hour I mean some say it's the most important radio programme I think programme. everyone says that well, I think also everyone say that women are one of the does. top genders yeah, oh they are <laughs> they're amongst my favourites they're top two they're absolutely genders. top two no doubt so, um, <laughs> and I, I would say that even in th- languages like German that have a neutral gender <laughs> Off you go, Mark. Uh, you want some actual comedy? Yes, please. That's the one thing we haven't really covered yet. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> Unless by comedy you mean demeaning stunts. In that um... case, I want to draw attention to this fairly adequate chocolate cake that I made in the dark hours you've just been referring to. And to Could... us, this is not just a cake. No, it's no. a special cake. But you are going to use this to make a house. You're, you're asking for cake? Yes, uh, one of the... Um, this is actually topical because uh, this has been done by a woman. Uh, a woman <laughs> called, uh, called Jenny, in fact. A namesake of Dane Jenny Murray. Well, not a full namesake, but uh, a lady called Jenny is up in the balcony. She came here with the sponsored intention of making a house out of cake uh, by getting everyone in the country to make bricks out of cake and bring them. Uh, for the first 10 hours, nobody... For the first 11 hours, nobody did. But our fast has now been broken by you, by Jane Garvey, who's turned up wow. here. And I think this could be a turning point in our house out of cake project. Okay. Well, I hope so, because it is still a little bit early. And I'm hoping to put this house on the market before too long. Don't, don't waste this sponge, because my, uh, some of my colleagues are quite needy in the chocolate department. I'm not really? suggesting that there's anything age-specific about that requirement for chocolate. But, no, although um, even by issuing that caveat, you did sort of suggest it. Yeah, I know, I did. Uh, so, so don't waste this, OK? Use it for your house. There's absolutely... Look at, look goodness at, I mean, me! She drops it in cavalier manner, almost like a man on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> almost like almost, a man, yes. Mark. Um, look, Actually, uh, it's fine for women to drop stuff as well, can yeah. um, <laughs> It's Do you know what? Genuinely, I admire what you're doing in the name of Comic Relief. How can people get involved? I'm glad that you asked that, because it is pretty much a contractual necessity. Uh, (laughs) If they go to rednoseday.com forward slash sponsor Mark, something which I'm in no way reading awkwardly off something on the floor, that's rednoseday.com forward slash sponsor Mark. Uh, then I'm already being told I'm not allowed to say on, this, we, I think. We, we have to squeeze in the yodeler. Thank you, Mark. Sorry, Thank the yodeler's got We have to wrap it up. Sponsor thanks, me! Thanks to everybody Bye. here. Thank you. The amazing Mark Watson. And, Jane, I'm very impressed that you made a cake. I'm not impressed that you dropped it. We'll come back to you later.